Hello everyone, Ryan Archer, West Ham Fan TV. Just back with a quick little video to talk about all the latest transfer news and rumours surrounding our beloved West Ham United. It's day 23 of the transfer window, and as you already know, we've only brought in one signing so far, and that was the signing of Jose Font from Southampton on Friday. Um, it looks like there's going to be a couple of deals done, hopefully this week. First of all, we'll start off with the striker we've been linked with for most of the transfer window, Scott Hogan from Brentford. Uh, he was left out of the squad on Saturday. Uh, it looks like that deal should be done either tomorrow or the next day. So within the next 48 hours, Scott Hogan, fingers crossed, will be a West Ham United player. Um, as we all know, I've spoke about him a few times now. He is a striker that we have been after for a few weeks now. Uh, he looks like he's going to be one of our main targets, looking at £15 million um, fee. Uh, like I said... You know, it's, a, it's the deal's close. Hopefully, by the next time I do one of these transfer roundups, I'll be announcing that Scott Hogan is a West Ham player. Um, yeah, I mean, them, his manager's come out and said that his head's been turned. I mean, you can't blame him. Twenty-four year old being linked with a with a Premiership team, chance to show that he can do it on the big stage. So, you know, you, you can't blame him for wanting to leave. Hopefully, Brentford get a good good deal out of it. Um, and yeah, I mean, listen, I'll leave that one there. It's a bit like the Carlos Backer deal, this one in the summer, when I kept talking about him every every transfer video. So hopefully this one's done. Another player um, that looks like he might be on his way to West Ham is Robert Snodgrass from Hull. Spoke about him a few times. Uh, once again, he was left out of the squad uh, when they played Chelsea at the weekend. But I think that was more down to injury. But... Hull are looking for £10 million. West Ham have already offered six. So it looks like we want the 29-year-old Scottish winger. We've got to wrap it another £4 million to get our man. Other clubs are interested in him, so we might have a fight on our hands for him. But yeah, that could be another deal that looks looks like it should be done before the end of the week. Hopefully get these couple of players in before we play Man City um, next Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's it really for players that are due to come in. Uh, there's not been much. I've been looking all day, trust me. I've been looking at rumours and these are the main ones um, that have really popped up that look more like we are going to uh, sign them. So hopefully, next couple of days, fingers crossed, they will both be West Ham players or if not, one of them. Um, talking about players leaving the club, uh, a few stories today. Start with uh, the man, uh, Dimitri Payet. Uh, Marseille have come back. It looks like they're going to come back in with a fourth bid now. They had a bid of £23.2 million turned down last week. Um, the two clubs are still in talks with each other. And yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully by the end of this week, if not beginning of the next week, Dimitri Payet, that'll all be sorted. He would have left the club. Uh, I think it's what most of us want. As much as he is a world-class talent, he's obviously upset the dressing room. Uh, as you see from the last two results, yes, people are saying it's only Palace and Borough, but... It's still still um, a great six points from us and we seem to have that little bit of team spirit back like we did last season. And um, yeah, I mean, other clubs are interested in him, PSG being one of them. But yeah, I mean, he's still training with the under 23s. I don't think you're ever going to see Pyatt in a West Ham shirt again. Uh, club are saying, like the chairman and Karen Brady are both saying that they want to keep him. But if they do sell him, they're looking to hold out for about 30, 35 million, which is right. It's what he's worth and that's what we deserve. Um, another player rumoured to be leaving the club is the goal scorer from Saturday, Jonathan Caleri, rumoured to be joining La Liga side Las Palmas on an 18-month loan deal. Um, he's never really hit off at West Ham. I know he scored on Saturday. Um, wasn't a, a great goal, was it? I mean, deflected in. His chances have been slim at West Ham since he's been here. I didn't even know he was back in the squad uh, when he was in on the bench for Palace, I thought he'd left the club. So he looks like he wants a move. He come out and said that he never really wanted to join West Ham. It was more like a forced move. So if that's the case, let him go. You know he's not our player. Um, so yeah, he looks like within the next forty eight hours, Jonathan Caleri could be leaving the club. Another player that left the club today, uh, Tony Martinez, the young nineteen year old Spanish striker who scored 12 goals in 13 games for the under-23s, has joined Oxford United on loan, League One club, on loan for the rest of the season. Uh, he is eligible to play in the FA Cup against Newcastle at the weekend. 
I think it'll be a good bit of experience for him going down to League One. Uh, I was a bit surprised that he wasn't involved in the first team squad over Christmas, even getting on the bench or something. But yeah, it looks like with Hogan coming in, we can afford to let um, Martinez go out on loan. Everyone knows about him. He, he's a he's a good player. He's one definitely one for the future. I think you'll probably see a lot more of him next season uh, in the first team, in or about the, around the first team. So yeah, I mean, it'll be good for him. Drop down the league, learn it the hard way, because it's going to be tough down there. But he's got all the uh, abilities um, to adapt to it straight away. And uh, I think it's a good signing for Oxford. You know, they're a good club. And uh, yeah, good luck, Tony Martinez. And uh, we'll see you in the summer, mate. I mean, that's it for ins and outs at the moment with West Ham. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about, Nicky put a video up earlier, um, called it uh, that we sold out to the board. We've been getting a lot of stick over the last few days about our meeting with Karen Brady. A lot of people saying that we we sold out and we're up the board's arse and this, that and the other. Listen, if you've been watching our channel for the last two years, you'll know that me, Nicky, and I'll speak for the rest of the boys as well, we're not like that. We say how we feel. Uh, that's probably why we've never been invited to meetings before. But this time we was given an opportunity to go in there, sit down with Karen Brady and talk about a lot of issues that we're, concern us. Because, listen, as much as we do this channel, we are fans. We pay our money. We go home and away every week. Um, so we want the best for the club and inside the new stadium. And, yeah, I think it's a bit unfair criticism. I mean, it don't really bother me too much. I don't really listen to it. You're going to get haters. You're going to get people that love what we do. What I would say to people that don't like what we do uh, is we ain't going to stop this channel. We ain't going to stop fan cams. We're not going to stop doing post-match pint. We're going to carry on doing all these little videos. So if you don't like us, don't click on the button. Don't watch us. You know, we don't we don't ask you to click on the button and watch us. We do it. Uh, we've got over 16,000 subscribers now that do like what we do. And it's not only West Ham fans. We get a lot of messages from other fans of other clubs that like what we do. So look, if go and have a watch of Nicky's videos, what he said in the video is the way I feel as well. Um, we'll always speak up for you, like especially our subscribers who message us saying, can you say this, can you say that? And when we go to the next meeting, if you've got any more issues, let us know. We'll go in there and say it. But yeah, look, I'll leave that there. Don't forget, watch, have a watch of Nicky's video. It's a good watch. You've got Nicky's uh, Monday muse, musings going up, um, hopefully next couple of days. If we've got on the social going up, uh, there'll be no previews this week because we're at the FA Cup. Uh, I'll hopefully be doing a few more transfer videos. So, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that there. This was only a quick little video. Uh, leave all your comments below. Let me know about the uh, Scott Hogan um, and Snodgrass signings. Would you like them at the club? Uh, what about the players leaving? Tony Martinez, do you think we should have kept him or is it good to loan him out? And yeah, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. We're, we're closing in. Oh, we really want to get to that 20 qu ca the middle of 20K. I'll say that again. 20K by the end of the season. See, we don't edit our videos. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get there. But listen, thank you all so much for your support. If you haven't watched Post Match Pint that went up yesterday, go and give that a watch. Fan cams, everything. You know, just go through, scroll through, watch all the old videos. But we'll, we will be uploading all the time over the next week. So... I'm Ryan Archer at West Ham Fan TV. Thank you so much for watching this video. Come on, you irons.